Okay, so we're trying to reduce nicotine levels in combustible cigarettes to minimally or non-addictive levels. Um, and we have took the first big step yesterday towards that effort in issuing what we call an advanced notice of proposed rulemaking. It's really the first step in the rulemaking process to try to pursue the regulations that will ultimately lead to the reduction in nicotine levels in cigarettes. And so this is the first big step towards that process. The next step after we go through a comment period is to issue a notice of proposed rulemaking and then a final rule. You, generally, you think of Republican administrations and you think of less regulation, um, less involvement by some of the agencies on things like this. Why is this important to you? Well, we're looking to try to um, transition smokers to modified risk products, less harmful products. We see a lot of potential from new product innovation that's coming on the market, including electronic cigarettes and electronic nicotine delivery systems that might be um, modified risk ways to receive nicotine if you're an adult who still wants to get access to satisfying levels of nicotine. And so by regulating the nicotine content in combustible cigarettes, we think we can more quickly migrate smokers off of combustible tobacco onto modified risk products or, or preferably um, encourage them to quit altogether. It's not the nicotine that causes the cancer. It's all the toxins in the combustion. So it's really the combustible cigarettes that are the problem. I've seen ads that run on television a lot lately um, that are saying things like, this is from a group saying, let's make sure we do modify uh, nicotine levels. They say that the cigarette companies intentionally concocted the levels of nicotine in these cigarettes to try and addict people um, in the highest possible levels. Do you think that's true? Well, the cigarettes have certainly been engineered over time to have very high levels of nicotine, and what makes them so deadly is they're such an efficient delivery vehicle. They deliver the nicotine so quickly to the brain, um, and that's, that's part of what makes them so addicting and makes the nicotine itself so addicting. Um, and so the cigarettes have been modified over time. We know that now um, in order to be better nicotine delivery vehicles, and that's what keeps people coming back. That's what gets people addicted. Scott, so the big question, I think, on e-cigarettes has always been not that you want to take people who are smoking combustible cigarettes and, and, and obviously migrate them off, and, and, and e-cigarettes may be a way to do it. But the other question is, is it also a way to get people to start smoking? Maybe not combustible cigarettes. And, and uh, the question is, long term, from a culture and society perspective, would we be frustrated and upset if a whole new generation uh, started smoking e-cigarettes all the time? Particularly with right. teens that, being so right. attracted that, to it. Right. The youth access is a, is a big concern. We're going to be taking some enforcement steps and other steps very soon to try to better address some of the youth use that we see. The youth use is growing. It's a, it's a major concern to the agency. And you're right. If all we end up doing is, is addicting a whole new generation on nicotine through e-cigarettes, then we will have done, done a bad service uh, to this country. So we're, we're going to be vigorously pursuing the youth use as we try to make this transition for the adult smokers. But it's a big concern um, right now. Uh, that kids are getting access to the e-cigarettes and some of them are going to get addicted. Remember, our, our statute is a net public health benefit, so we're looking at the, the overall public health benefit to right. the entire population. In looking at that, we overweight the youth use. And so if we can get 10 adult smokers to quit, but, but we, one new kid gets started on nicotine for every 10 adult smokers, we're going to overweight the assessment of that one kid who's going to become a smoker because of what we've done. So Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.